dicen tener feria y nada, ropa cara nunca falta, pero huevos le faltan. Hablan a mi espalda, pero de pepe me la mama, respeto, respeto, no se olviden de eso, mi raza. Pa' que lo presumen si mueren y lo llevan lo que enseñan en frente de esa gente. Acabo lo que trae usted, no es mucho billete, vendes merca, dices, pero un día que llegará que fe es como y que pasa. You know, I want to speak on, um, I just thought about it, man. I was having a conversation with my boy, my, my neighbor, and he was out there putting his, his kids on the bus, school bus, and he was like, yo, our generation grew up with Latinos, bro. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said, think about it, bro. You remember being around Latinos your whole life. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, um, I can honestly say from seventh grade onward, onward, seventh grade, I was 14 years old. I was around nothing but Latinos the year 2003, 2004. So ever since I was 13, 14, I grew up around Latinos, mainly Mexicans, Guatemalans, El Salvadorians, Colombians, you know, that's who I grew up around. And, um, you know, what's crazy to me is the Latin Kings actually have beef with the Serenos in La Ime. They don't really be around each other much, but they they they, they, they they bump into each other when they get into the federal prison system. And they all have respect for each other. It is Latino pride. But, you know, you got a couple of knuckleheads from each group. So I can't say anybody, I can't speak generally and say this whole group is like this or this whole group is like that. What I'm saying is I saw an interview on uh, Blood on the Razor Wire, which is Chad Marks' channel, and a Latin king from New from Connecticut. He was being interviewed and he was saying that the Mexicans think that they are the dominant Latino. They that like they you know, because if you're in a federal prison and you've got all these different Latino gangs, the Mexican gang is going to assert dominance and represent all of the Latinos. And you have to fall under the Mexicana movement, you know. And, um, yeah, man, it's just crazy. It just goes to show you that uh, you got, it's not just black and white. Even in Latino countries, man, you got dark-skinned Latinos, light-skinned Latinos. I remember I met a dude that was Latino, and he looked at so, he was black. I thought he was from Africa. Then he started speaking Spanish. Como estas? You know? And me, me amo Roberto. His name was Roberto. He was cool, though. He was smooth. He was cool. But... He was tell he would tell me, yo, yeah, the lighter Latinos would discriminate against me, and I'm like, what? So yeah, man, it's just, I just think it's human nature, man. People, people are come, people are tribal, as long, you know. So at the end of the day, man, it's just, I don't know, man. You know, hopefully people learn how to respect each other's differences and realize that we actually have more similarities than differences. You know, peace.